Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Matsek and we are back with an another video paper cut from Triacme. Before we dive in, a quick note. Many of you watch the videos but forget to subscribe. Your support motivates me to create more quality content so please hit that subscribe button. Let's go. So this is a paper cut CV 2023-27350. So this CV is like authorization bypass in paper cut um, print management software. So which leads to remote code execution. Introduction. So I'm not going to read everything, but I'm going to explain you uh, as simple as I can. So on March 8, 2023, a critical patch for CV was released addressing a severe uh, authentication bypass in paper cut NGMF application. This vulnerability allows attacker to remotely gain admin access and execute as system on the server. Despite the patch, active exploitation has been on the rise with APT groups like Clop deploying using a ransomware and mal malware. This is what it explains about this uh, introduction part. So if you go here, uh, we can click on complete and move to as two. So uh, this explains about the paper cut uh, vulnerability. So how this works and where it should be, uh, uh, where it is found on which class, so everything. So please go through uh, this uh, document so that you will understand uh, clearly how this works. So I will try to explain as much as uh, simple. So this issue lies in software implementation of access control, so which is not correctly enforced in uh, certain API endpoints. So this flaw allows an unauthenticated attacker to interact with system in ways they shouldn't be. So such uh, as executing an arbitrary code. That's a simple explanation about this vulnerability. And let's go. So what is the name of the logic vulnerability that occurs when session and authentication functions are used for multiple purpose? So it is actually session puzzling. So if you click session puzzling. Okay. So what is session puzzling? Session puzzling is a security flaw where attackers manipulate session variables sometimes combining multiple parts of sessions like cookies and parameters in unexpected way to bypass authentication or gain unauthorized access. So it works by taking advantage of how a web application process and combines sensitive data leading to potential security breaches. So in simple terms, it's a trick that system uh, into granting access by confusing the uh, way it handles the session related data. The next question is, what is the name of Java class containing uh, the authentication bypass vulnerability? So which is a uh, setup complete. So just copy that and paste it over here. Enter. So the next one is exploiting the CVE. Let's go. Um, this shows how to exploit this and this gives you like a basic uh, authentication bypass using the um, default credentials. Um, so how to exploit this? I will explain you clearly like an attacker can need to send a specifically crafted uh, request to the vulnerable uh, paper cut server so that they can exploit this flaw and bypass authentication and gain access to sensitive functionality. So this can lead to remote code executions where the attacker can run commands on servers effectively taking over the system. So in simple terms, this vulnerability allows hacker to sneak into paper cut system without needing a password, then take control of the server, potentially causing a significant damage to the organization networks and data. So let's see how to exploit this. So we, they have given the um, uh, server. So just copy that and we'll go to terminal. Let's start uh, OpenVPN. Okay has connected successfully so we'll move to uh, browser and paste this url enter so we are on the page so this shows like we can try the uh, basic authentications like admin admin so this won't work so if you want you can try is there is a possibility to break into this application using a default credentials but here uh the thing is 
we need to navigate to this page so that we can bypass the authentication so this is what the cve says so just copy that and paste it over here enter so basically what this does is this is a configuration page like uh, when we set up the uh, server initially so this creates an account uh, and also creates a new token for your admin account um, so that you don't have to log in so if you click login it automatically creates um, a new token for this admin account so we have logged in as admin if you see here if we are logged in as admin this portal allows us to access multiple functionalities but if you go here uh, the main functionality what we need is get remote code execution the important functions are uh, we need to click printers and then uh, template printer and we have to move to scripting and then we need to enable print script so that we can execute uh, scripts and commands on the uh, system so let's see we'll go to um, printers template printers and then scripting we need to enable print scripts so that uh, we can enter our uh, javascript here so if you go to triac me and if you go below it gives you a script so what the script actually does is this pings an attacker ip so we'll just copy this and we'll paste it over here okay and we need an ip so ip a so this is our ip i'm just copying this so we'll paste it here and then what we have to do is we have to move to our local machine and tcp dump i equal to turn zero and we are going to uh, monitor icmp request so enter i don't have permission so sudo tc we dump um i4 interface uh, turn zero and icmp request enter okay we are now uh okay we are now listening so here what we have to do is if you go below and click apply this will start um the save successfully this means uh the script has executed successfully so if you go here you will find uh, multiple ping requests from this mission okay now we found out that it is working so how to get a shell for that uh, you need to go here and click this repo um there will be an python code so just click that and copy this go to your mission make a new tab app mouse pad um paper that dot py and enter just call paste this and save close this so after this how to uh how this works i'll explain you later so first we need to uh, create a shell so just copy this paste it here and we need our ip to be listed here mm, copy the ip from um here just copy it and paste it here and then just click enter okay this has created a shell.exe successfully if you ls this you have a paper cut py and shell.exe now what we have to do is we need to run a um, web server so on the same folder just paste it and enter we have successfully running and web server now so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna um start the um listener so just go here and still we need the attacker ip so this is the ip let's copy that and paste it over here so remaining things all good then enter so this will start our uh, listener now it is started we are listening successfully now if you go here um so what we are doing is we are running and python uh code so that we are giving this url and cert util so this function is used to copy a file from the re uh, remote uh, server so this is the function what we are using right now just copy that 
um and just open a new tab paste it over here and what we have to change is we have to change this ip action go to um, here and copy the ip and paste it over here so all good now um we need to change the code so which is paper dot, dot py so everything has been changed so what we are doing is python 3 and we are running the script and we are getting um i mean we are uh, giving the url uh, base url and after that we are trying to execute the script which is uh, certutil.exe and we are getting the uh, shell.exe and we are saving this as shell.exe on the uh, system so and now press uh, enter so this has been downloaded successfully now we need to execute this so for that um just copy this and paste it here go to and type paper cut dot py and the server is correct and what we're doing is we are executing a script command.exe and then we are taking running this command shell.exe so enter now this is executing if you go here it is connecting we are sending a stage and then we have connected successfully to the machine so ls sorry <laughs> this is a windows machine so who am i i am nt authority system so var we have those informations okay we have exploited this successfully we can answer this if the vulnerable host name is print try uh, local sorry dot loc what would be the url could use to perform uh, authentication bypass so just copy this um type http and paste that and it should be um if you go above this is the path so you need to copy just copy this go below and paste it over here and enter okay so what would be the one liner uh, added to script manager to execute um cal dot exe so for that um you need to come here and copy this so paste it here and then we need to change this to calc dot exe and enter so what is the value of flag stored in administrative desktop so we need to go um we just move here okay mm -hmm. we have you yeah, we have administrator so we move to administrator and we need to have desktop so go to desktop and we have a flag so type flag dot txt enter so this is the flag actually so just copy that and paste it over here enter so what is the text is automated uh exploit searching for and tells the exploitation is successful or not so it's saved successfully just copy that and paste away for this direction and mitigation so for this we need to start a new mission so we'll terminate this so let me start this So this might take some time so please hold on so after starting i will start this video this detection and mitigation machine has been started so it's asking us to click um i mean i am ready so i'm just clicking that so network traffic signatures so this shows like um what and all things how we can detect this attack and what and all steps we need to take for mitigations so for deductions we need to check application logs and uh, we need to check for this whether this has been uh, accessed on the um, network traffic signatures and we need to also monitor the system processes whether this has anything like uh, powershell.exe or uh, command.exe on the uh, parent um, process um, 
and also we can uh check the um mitigation step so the mitigation will be like and also we can check the uh, sorry i forgot to mention this uh, and also we can check the server logs for any um log we can find using um what are the things has been updated and what are the things has been they have been accessed so and the mitigation steps will be we need to check for the recent updates and updated so let's go here the network traffic signatures if you go up uh the network traffic signatures we need to look for like um this kinds of endpoints so i think this should be a page printed details if someone is getting to know about the printed details i'm just clicking that okay one is correct and if you go below um someone tried to uh bypass and here one we have been selected all three has been right and proceed so we have access to process mon uh, i mean process monitor on the affected server so we need to check uh what is the uh malicious process running on this uh mission so if you go below um i see pc print dot exe um and pc server dot exe and in that i see command dot exe so this should be and malicious process so 8436 yes 8436 enter okay it's correct we can proceed so review the application logs to determine if suspicious action occurred remember a specific configuration or options that need to be altered to allow this attack to occur that means we need to find any uh, malicious or suspicious activity has been happened on the server logs let's see mm, okay uh, i think they have modified the sprint script to template printer just click that and the user has admit uh sorry updated the config key so i just um, clicking that and so and again they have updated the config key so i'm just clicking it again so this looks suspicious and they are logged into administration interface using this ip so the ip differs from uh the regular ips um see so if you go here all the things ip looks similar but we see here this ip looks different so i'm just clicking that and press it so we got our final flag so which is this copy that and if you go below um we need to paste it here this is the final flag so based on the application logs the first image what is the name of the printer uh which print scripts has been updated so if you go the first image um it is template printer so answer is now uh, we need to add square bracket um template printer enter so what is the executable name of the paper cut process on windows pc so the executable is this one pc app dot exe um just go here and paste it here and end. okay so, so we have completed the detection and mitigation then we'll move to conclusion and so i understand how this vulnerability works so when you understand just click complete and this is the easy way to solve this room if you like this video please subscribe and share to your friends have a great day thanks for watching